Hey everybody, today I'm out here with our long-term test car, the 2019 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid, and I'll be answering one of the most popular questions I've received about the 2019 RAV4. Can you really fit a full-size spare tire back there? If you've watched Alex and Autos for any length of time, then you know that full-size spares are near and dear to my heart because I live out in the country. I do get regular flat tires. I've had about three flat tires so far in 2019 in various vehicles, and I really love it when a full-size spare tire is included. Because if you use a donut or a compact spare tire, then you are technically limited to a lower speed, usually about 50 or 55 miles an hour. And most of the freeways around here, they're going about 65 or 70. So you're really stuck in that slow lane. And if you're towing something, then having a flat tire on your tow vehicle can really be a bummer. So with that out of the way, let's dive right in and see what's back here under the cargo hatch. If you're out there shopping for a new car and you're wondering, will a full-size spare tire fit? Well, one of the first things you can do is look for vehicles that are sold in markets outside the United States or Europe. European cars and North American cars are trending towards compact spare tires only if they have a spare or no spare tire at all. So for instance, a lot of modern Volvo vehicles, there is nowhere even to put a compact spare tire. But cars that are sold globally, especially cars that are sold in China and South America, they tend to have the capacity for a full-size spare tire because using a spare tire is a little bit more common in some of those markets. And the RAV4 is one of those vehicles. As we've noted before, when you take a look under the load floor, if I pull out our liner there and then pull up this load floor, which comes out very easily, you'll notice that not only do we have a well where we can put a spare tire here, but as I've noted before, the spare tire well is suspiciously deep. Now, this particular model does come with a donut spare tire, as you can see right here. It's a T165, so it is considerably narrower than the other tires on the vehicle. So if you were planning on towing with your RAV4, this vehicle tops out at around 1,800 pounds of towing capacity, then you probably would want a full-size spare tire on the vehicle. And I have one right over here that I was able to find on eBay. So I found a wheel that had been demounted from a RAV4. I got this one for 60 bucks. I paid $120 for this OEM matching destination LE tire, and then about $20 to have the combination mounted. So let's see how well this fits in the vehicle. Overall, that's not a bad price, and I would argue that even if you have to go to a dealer and pay full price for a matching rim for your car, or if you could find a steel wheel, that might not be a bad deal. Obviously, we have the jack kit right there in the center. Go ahead and unscrew the temporary spare here. Then we simply lift the temporary spare tire right out of the way, right like that. I will just save that, so that way, if we do sell this RAV4 later on, we can just include that. For some reason, Toyota includes this awkward little shim here, which causes the donut spare tire to be at a slight angle with the cargo area in the back. So I'll just toss those to the side and grab our new full-size tire right here. This does fit very nicely in the spare tire well, just as you can see right there. And the mounting hardware is exactly the same because the spare tire is upside down and most spares tend to favor the outside of the vehicle rather than being further inboard. So this was definitely destined to match right from the very beginning. Since the donut spare tire has a very similar dimension, I suspect this jack kit will even fit in right here. Oh, and indeed it does. So you can see that definitely fits right there in the spare tire. Put the tire iron right next to it, just like that. And now comes the real question. What will this load floor do? Now the RAV4 does have a two level load floor, but obviously since we've put a larger tire in here, there's no hope of using the lower mode. However, as you can see right there, this is definitely designed for a full-size spare tire. Now, I asked Toyota about this. I sent in a question, got an official response, and Toyota says officially that a full-size spare tire is not supported because they don't support changing the vehicle in any way versus a factory car. However, this is a factory OEM wheel and the same tire that we have on the car, and very clearly it fits right there under the spare tire well. You can come in a little bit closer and see what's going on here. You can see that the load floor is perfectly flush with every side, including the back. Now there is a little bit of a raise up back there that you'll notice, but if you actually put cargo on there, it does end up going flat. And therefore we have absolutely no problem putting things like the factory floor mat right back in there, or even this aftermarket plastic liner 
everything fits exactly as it should. So for the moment, I'm just gonna hang on to this donut spare tire. And when we do sell this RAV4 later on, probably in about eight months or so, we will include both the full-size spare tire and this donut spare tire in case someone wants to downgrade. It's worth noting that in addition to losing this second stage of the load floor, you also lose the ability to secret away your tonneau cover using this little cubby right here. Because if you had a compact spare tire or no spare tire in here, this would fit right in that slot all the way across the back. You could put this roller cover completely under the load floor there. But if you want the full-size spare tire, you will have to find somewhere else to put that roller cover if you're gonna put something large in the back. If you're wondering if your new car or a new car you're shopping for will accommodate a full-size spare tire under the load floor, again, look for vehicles that are sold around the world, not just in North America or in Europe. They're more likely to accommodate a full-size spare. Look for options where vehicles have a model with a full-size spare tire as well, because a number of especially American brands will come with a donut in some trims, perhaps no spare tire at all in other trims, but they may have an option for a full-size spare tire. You should also be sure and take detailed measurements of the spare tire well. That's usually what we look at when I comment whether or not a full-size spare tire is likely going to fit in the spare tire well. And remember that you may have to go off the beaten path. If you go to your local Toyota dealer, they may give you the same answer that Toyota North America gave me, which is a full-size spare tire is not supported in a North American market Toyota RAV4. But Again, very clearly, as you can see, it definitely fits. Now, again, you do have to give up a little bit of cargo room, so this cargo load floor will not go into its lower position. However, I'm personally willing to give up only about two inches of overall load floor height in order to have the comfort and the security of that spare tire in the back. Be sure to let me know what you think about that down there in the comment section below. And of course, be sure and check out our other videos on this 2019 RAV4 Hybrid. I'll see you all later.